inspired by nature, wildlife, and so I usually use um, patterns, textures, or structures that I see in natural landscapes. And everything in there is basically waste. This is like a kitchen sponge, and just to show that art can deliver. The grass blades are actually uh, pictures of pennies that have been individually put in place as strips, and it's to show that you know you can't feed Africa money and expect that to address all the problems there. Is this part of it too? Yeah. Oh, okay. Bad. Get into a cab. Yeah. The current pieces are entirely inspired by waste fabric that I acquired off of 7th Avenue Surplus. I like the contrast between this and this already, in terms of lines, texture. I'm trying to use minimal amounts of paint, ink and other media and largely rely on, on the fabrics themselves and let them kind of tell the story. And since the collection unfortunately didn't have as many blues <laughs> and green shades in them, I'm kind of relying on uh, pinks and other fabrics to tell the story of the ocean. Um, so it kind of gives a new color scape for the seas. You know, people always think that if you're gluing things down and doing kind of more crafty work out of waste, that it's easier in some way, but it's really not because it involves more play with how you want to compose it, with the lights and darks. Just meeting her, you'll know right away that this is something she stands for very strongly. Mm -hmm. um, and, and of course, just by looking at her work, she's not painting too many landscapes and old ladies sitting on rocking chairs. She's painting, she's painting the, the creatures of the earth. Mm -hmm. So like I come up with a concept or a story or, and it's based on the limitations that I have to work with. And then my brain starts churning out a way to connect those dots and make them seem logical. So like right now I'm thinking along the lines of red tide which is a phenomenon that happens when there's in, like excessive amounts of toxicity in the oceans, right? Like, so it's like a red tide of al algal blooms and it basically causes like people to break out into rashes and it's like really an unhealthy ecosystem by that point. And so the fact that I'm working largely out of pink and red fabric right now, I'm just gonna just call this the red tide collection and <laughs> sort of to show the deterioration of the oceans. And also the corals, unfortunately have to be with white tweed because I already have white and black tweed so they're all bleached, so even though I didn't want to paint like a depleted, you know, marine ecosystem, that's what I wound up doing, so now the entire collection is going to be doomsday oriented. <laughs>